Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 87 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and today we're going to be uh, upgrading our current tree farm to a more industrial tree farm because I chopped down so many trees yesterday trying to make all the reactors <laughs> so I definitely need some help uh, because I'm just not getting enough wood uh, that I need so let's try to solve that problem while my little tree farm over there is um, super cool and awesome <laughs> and I love it it's just not enough, uh, it's just not enough wood my little guy. There he is. Oh, he's so extremely happy. Yeah, like I grew these grow berries and none of them produce grow blueberries. So, <laughs> so I um, prepared a small area out here uh, and, and dug out some some underneath so we have plenty of room uh, to grow and these are the center um, I figure if this one isn't enough I can always do a second one uh, but I think I think this one would be enough oh do you got anything good um I don't think so. Okay. Just check it. Um it's been a while since I had me a good industrial foregoing tree farm. <laughs> but I, I have been setting these up since, you know, it was mine factory reloaded. So it should be no problem at all. Um, oh, plus I, that, that wasn't what I thought it was, but it made me think of something. I made a, my, uh, oh my God, what are those things called? Uh, material stonework factory i made another one just for glass because uh, i'm running out of sand with all the glass i'm making so i did set one of those up to just start pumping out a lot of glass um i might need to to you know make more of those for like gravel and sand and uh, i don't think you can do dirt in that uh you can make dirt apparently with sand, compost, and slag. Or you can get it as an output and a slug refiner, which we're definitely going to set up. It's like half the fun of the tree farm. It's setting up your sludge refinery. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think where I would want this. I think I'm going to set it on the back side just so let's see F3G so I can see where this is. Um, all right, let's put a little block down there. Um, <laughs> it's like a ch I want it to be in a chunk or take up the whole chunk. Um, so that's, that's why I wanted the, the chunk boundaries, but I need to pick like one of these blocks to be the middle and, and it might go over. I don't know. Um, so let's go see about making some pieces of machinery. Ah. I'm sure we have lots of plastic too. We got six thousand plastic. 
Um, so we need a, I don't know what they used to be called, planter, plant gatherer, a plant fertilizer, and a plant sower. Okay, this one sounds like the planter. We're definitely going to need that. So, and then a plant gatherer. I don't know if that's the one I need. We'll, we'll mark it. I think that one is for like the plants. They changed it, you know. Could have figured all of this out. Oh, we're gonna need that the sludge refiner. Oh, I forgot. I can't. I can't be in there and hit a. Oh, that's so terrible. Where was that? This one. No. Sludge refiner. Animal baby separator, animal feeder, plant sower, plant fertilizer, sewage composter, sewer, plant gatherer. Uh, these are all generators. Do, 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 do. Reactor. Okay, I think that's. I think that's what I'm needing. It's those three machines. A plant gatherer, a plant sower, and a sludge refiner. And I'm hoping these are the right ones that I need. Uh, because they're called different things now. Uh, but, let's do it. A plant sower. Uh, we're going to need some iron gears. Oh, click. Oh, I gotta make a pot. There we go. Plant sower. Plant gatherer. Um, in two axes. And oh. And boom. And a sludge refiner. Boop. And I guess we need the two more iron gears. Nice. <laughs> that should be what we need. Um, we're probably going to need a uh, an add-on, a range add-on for uh, these machines as well. Uh, what I don't know, I need uh, starts as a one by one. So I guess I would need like seven. Add-on. Range tier seven. Because seven on either side would be 15. So four iron, two glass panes. Um, man, I wish I could just tell it. 
Um, why didn't you come into my pockets? And stone. Pains. Pains. Uh, then iron. Okay, I guess we gotta go gotta go down to the thing. To get the special range add-on. Oh, what kind of fluid does that take? Uh, just takes latex. Oh, sweet. It takes a whole bucket. <laughs> so there's nothing wasted. And... It got sucked in. There we go. Um, we're probably gonna need another one of those for the planter. Oh boy. Okay, so stone. Yeah, I forgot about that. Pains. Oh man. In the iron. Boy, tell me. <laughs> Look at that iron. It's 11,000. <laughs> I'm so happy I got that uh, ore laser base upgraded with 36, uh, 36 little laser drill. I sure did need it. Alright, let's get you. And got him. Now we're probably gonna need machine or Let's just go ahead and get uh, three add-ons, or yeah, three add-ons for each machine, just so we know. Um, I don't believe that I will need. Any. Um, Anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. I will probably need a network transmitter just for dealing with saplings. Um, that's like the only thing that I would need to put into the system. And I'd much rather do it like that, just have it gather all the saplings, put them in the system, and then send it back out, rather than try to contain it there and just have it feed itself. I don't know, that's an option too. Um, so we're going to need an ender chest. The ender chest. We're gonna need a die. Oh, uh, oh, meal. Well, it's kind of annoying that they uh, changed it to where you can't use bone meal as die. <laughs> oh no, it's uh, it's hard to get used to. All right, we got that. 
um, we're since we're going to need to take something out of the system, we're going to need a network transmitter and receiver. Oh, one. And a boop. And then wireless transmitter. And a point for power. Now I think I think that's everything. You um <laughs> I kind of did the thing yesterday. The reason why I had to chop so many trees was because of this. <laughs> I built uh eight five by five by five uh, basic reactors that are all producing 4.6 kfe a tick <laughs> because it's got a much lower burn rate than the reactor that i built the big one uh it's way better on the fuel than uh, and it's given me more power like 4,000 more. So I'm getting like an extra machine's worth <laughs> if we're doing it this way. Uh, so yeah. That's the thing. Um, I don't know where to put this one. Um... Thinking I might just put it up here. Transmitter. And then we can go out here. Um what I'll probably do is put it down here somewhere. Middle. Receiver. Hard. Put wireless transmitter on top. Okay, now we just gotta put this card back in the transmitter. And we'll go with it. Oops. Yeah, look, we've already got two thousand glass. So it's good. And there we go taken care of. Now we should have all of our stuff and things out here to do everything with. Oh yes! <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, uh, so over here uh, This right here is a good one. Let's put the sewer here and show working area. Boom. Oh, that's perfect. It doesn't go, I don't think it goes outside. The batteries actually, it's one, one short on one side. That's okay. Uh, that is cool beans. Um, man, I just thought it would be, yeah, it is 15. It's fine. It's fine. It can have one. You can have one. No. <laughs> Okay, so plant gatherer 
think it should face the right way. And then add on to a working area. Those should overlap. Sweet. Take that off. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so they should both be working the same area now. And I can put those add-ons in. Oops. There we go. And some for you. It's up for you. Alright. Um, and the sled refiner can just probably go downstairs uh, under here. But that's actually kind of perfect because it's still in the chunk border. Nice. Um, so we can have our sludge boiler. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's better to put it. It's been so long since I made one of these. No. Uh, the, the good one is. So I guess we could come down here. Why am I? Oh, I'm on. I'm on graph or on. On ice, that's why I was slipping and sliding. Um, okay, let's turn those chunk borders off because we got everything placed. Da, 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 da. Uh, another thing is I need to figure out which which wood type I want. I have been using dark oak, but that's just because it's so easy to gather. <laughs> uh, so, oh, look at that. Uh, it's going. You can see the little particle effects. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cool. Um, get our dirt over here. Shoot. Uh, so what we're going to need, I guess, is an exporter for all the saplings. Have an extra exporter. So let's go down. Um, a loop, or do I need to? Put it on the other side. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, or I could put it on this side since uh, this is where the uh, receiver is coming from. Oh, this is going to be so janky. Okay, so now I can just tell it to extract whatever saplings that I want. I guess I could switch over to oak. Sport oak saplings. Is it coming? It sure is. Nice. Uh, I do want to get uh, the output hooked up. Actually, I should just be able to put my ender chest on top. Or some, most of the time it was in the back. So... Let's see, the orange, the output, I want to push out the top. That would be great. That would be great. And then we need power. 
Uh, oh, also, where is the fluid? That's sludge and ether. What is ether? Okay, sludge. The pink can go out to the left. Oh, wait. This is the front, so it would be going out to the right. like so and then you will get your sludge from the left oh yeah and i can put uh those in there as well oh i didn't think of the output for this guy so i think i'll just get um Oh, a pipe. Do I, I don't have item pipes. Oh, because because I use nodes. Um, I could use a node for sure. I got cards. <laughs> um, let's see. Got my card holder. Uh, this one want to insert and oh I can't let's see down is extract there we go that should be working just fine then so now we have to do is power everything oh and I only have one power cable left And no steel. I wonder why. Uh, I used up all my steel yesterday making another reactor. Well, actually, they were basic, so it wasn't any steel. It was all graphite. Um. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. I did do one try to do one more set. There we go. Hopefully that will be enough. Um yeah, so we just got to run our power to these two. And to that one. Nice. It was enough. Uh, so let's just put that guy right there and select network. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. It's going. It's good. I do like the particle effects. They didn't used to have that, so you would just, you know, uh, have to guess where the area was uh, back in the day when they didn't have the the show hide boundaries. <laughs> so cool, we got trees coming in. Um, I can even help this out a little bit. Watch it working. Oh, wow. It just like instantly took it. Uh, it must be going really fast. Uh, it used to take it down block by block, but it's definitely going really super duper fast. <laughs> uh, it used to be like a uh, a delay. Yes, that's when you you don't have thirty thousand power in. So these guys are just getting they're getting all the power. Yeah, 
I grow a grove? Um, I guess a way we could do this where I don't have to run around increasing the growth rate is to maybe do that automatically. Um, I want to think, uh, no, because I don't think there is a watering can. Is there? I don't see it. Yeah, there is. There's a watering can, but is there like a sprinkler? How are we supposed to accelerate your growth rate? Uh -oh. There are ways to do it. I know like with Britannia, you have some flowers that will increase your growth rate, but it takes mana. Um, I think, um, I think the whirly sprigs increase the growth rate. Just, just, is that true? A whirly sprig? Um, Not you, not you. More notebook. Um, it's pretty. Uh, they don't have the whirly sprig on there. Uh, what would that be under automation? There we go. Whirly sprig charm. Whirly sprigs are, can be given a home in the world and can produce natural materials. All the whirly sprigs. Do, 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 do. They will also grow grass around them every once in a while. Okay. It says them grow grass. It doesn't mean that they're increasing the growth rate. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it would do that. That uh, base. And now it's raining. Uh, so we got it up and running. Um, I wonder what uh, Sludge Boiler is doing. Zero. Oh, it's got 80 sludge. I remember you used to, I used to actually use this in like my uh, Skyblock worlds uh, I would process this sludge and be thankful that I had it because it would produce things that I couldn't get like you know clay <laughs> um, occasionally you can get some nether materials uh, so that was always good like soul sand or netherrack and that was always good for the sky blocks because all you needed was one to, to get it going. So. And hopefully this will increase my wood production. And because we've only got 629 dark oak logs. I used so much yesterday. Oh, let me get this. Ha. Ah. 
I remembered the key to open the book. Boy, it sure is fast. Uh, <laughs> I just remembered the days of setting this up as soon as possible because it's usually the first thing I do is get a tree farm going. <laughs> And it's going so fast, I'm like, oh my goodness, how is it even doing that? Uh, but normally I'm using like a coal generator, one coal generator on it, and it takes forever. So, tree farm complete. And I will try to like gussy this up, I guess. So. I do got a big crater next to it. I think I want to leave the crater though. It's kind of like uh, it's it's kind of cute. Like a little jagged little crater thing of a bobber going on. I made like a little path, I guess, of where I would like the pathway to go. Do, do, do. Come back uh, later and get an actual nice path going down. <laughs> uh -oh. And I don't know. Let's see if I can get have this little world shapers sextant. Uh, so I do. Let's see, I would think that would be a little bit too close right here on the corner. I have anything. So, maybe go out a little bit more. Yeah. So, see if I were to put a boundary around it like this, make it look nice, but then it would um, interfere with this one. Put it get it going. See, I could also just put um, a regular planter, like for a farm out here, but I don't know. I don't know that I need that. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me outline this real quick. Oops. I guess I could just put my builder's wand, uh, not my builder's, builders. Oopsie. Then I could come in here later and, uh, let's see that up a little. Oops. Oops. No. Oh yeah, this one like a pathway coming through here. Oh, and I guess you right click it clears it. Um, shift right click clears it. <laughs> so I got a little bit of a gap here. Nice. Uh oh, being invaded. Oh, look how fast he is. Oh, he's so fast. Stop it. 
little bit of lag there. Nobody invades my country. Not unless they want to pull back enough. All right. Um, I guess that's it. We got our tree farm up and operational. Magic crossbow. Some seeds and some dirt. Nice. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully I will not have to be harvesting logs manually anymore. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.